Hi, this is Bill from Hiragari. Thanks for watching. Today I'm here in the theatre at the school at which I teach, amongst other things, a technical theatre program. And tonight is the annual Battle of the Bands. And I thought I would share with you how I've set up our ETC uh, system here, our EOS Nomad system, uh, so that students can use it to busk live lights uh, as the bands are playing on stage. The system we're using here is based around a gadget, a USB to DMX output device from ETC, as well as the EOS software running on an old iMac, and we've also put a touch screen on it for easy accessibility to things like on-screen faders and magic sheets. The EOS system, a lot of people um, don't think that you can do this kind of event with it. You can't kind of do live things on the fly, that it's more of a, a, a programmable desk. It's great for theatre, but not so good live, but it just takes a little bit of setup. So this is the uh, system here. We've got a touchscreen monitor. We've got an iMac um, running the system as well. Um, I'll just take out our uh, house lights and let me show you a little bit of how our system is set up here. So I've set up this magic sheet here so that we have easily accessible groups to select different fixtures. And we've also got colour palettes set up, beam palettes for gobo settings, uh, focus palettes set up to position our movers around the stage in presets, and then we've got some effects buttons. I have some sneak times set up as command line buttons. I've also got a macro set up to clear the command line, a macro set up to stop effects, and I've got a console button for blackout. I've also got intensity, uh, palettes here and I've got a submaster for house lights so that I can run those. Over here I've got a set up for presets but we're not using those for this event. So let's have a little bit of a look and see uh, how this all works together. Alright so I'm going to select all of my wash lights and take them out and then I'm going to set up a little bit of a really quick look here. So I'm going to set my moving lights to fan down. I'm gonna put those on white. I'm gonna set my back lights to pink. I'm gonna set my side lights to blue. Then I'm going to put my, uh, I'm gonna clear the command line. I'm gonna put my side lights, my back lights and my movers and I'm gonna sneak those up to full intensity. And then I'm going to uh, select my moving lights and then I'm going to sneak those at 10 across to the uh, opposite cross position. And while those are sneaking across there, I'm going to change my side lights and I'm going to sneak those to a green colour. Select my movers and start those on a slow intensity chase. And while they're doing a slow intensity chase, I'm going to sneak them uh, across to the fan down position. And then while that's going, I'm going to take my back lights and I'm going to sneak those across to a red colour. I'll take my side lights and I'll sneak those across to a blue colour. And then I'll take my, just to finish off, I'll take my uh, moving lights and I will sneak those across to a fan up position. And the final thing I will do with them is to stop that effect. Then I'll select all and then I'll do a five second sneak to out. So first of all, I want to address the comment that's probably most likely to appear, which is if you are doing uh, live shows, then why are you using a system like the EOS, which is not really designed for it when there's other systems made by ETC or other manufacturers, um, consoles like HOGS or MAs or things like that. Um, primary reason is that the Nomad system is really cheap for an academic purchase. Um, the second reason is that in all of the professional venues in the town in which I work, they all use variations of the EOS system, whether they've got a Geo or an Ion or whatever in front of the actual computer, they're all running that same system. I teach a program that's designed to upskill students so that they can go and get work in the industry and being able to walk out of a program and say, I know how to use your console is a, a really good plus. Um, the second reason is, is that most of the shows that happen in that theatre are traditional drama shows so um, or, or theatre shows. So uh, a tracking desk for programming and then for cue playback, that's the most logical thing um, for us to be using in that situation. 
The thing that impressed me most was once I had completed kind of putting this magic sheet and this system together so that you could busk with the EOS system was how powerful and how flexible it is once you really get elbows deep into it and understand how the whole thing works. There's a lot of people who say, oh, well, you should just get this system or get that system. But um, necessity being the mother of invention, using the tools that you have available um, in the best possible way that you can, that's really creative. And I think that that shows um, that you really are a, a very capable technician or technologist if you can um, effectively use every feature of the equipment that you have um, to produce the results. And at the end of the day, um, the lighting worked really, really well um, and the, the show looked really, really good. I do want to acknowledge a couple of really good tutorial presentations that ETC have put up on YouTube and those are linked in the description below on busking with the EOS system. Uh, I found that that gave me a really good start as to thinking about how to approach the whole thing. And when it comes to the actual mechanics of programming, um, things on the EOS, uh, you can also find really, really good tutorials. Uh, ETC have put their entire video learning library on YouTube. So you can Google or YouTube search for EOS ETC groups recording, EOS ETC magic sheet, EOS ETC color palettes, EOS ETC effects presets, and you'll find uh, literally hours and hours of video content and it steps you through in a really logical way. I found those to be really helpful when I was um, getting into some things that I wasn't 100% familiar with or if Gremlins started popping up. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to share, please put it in the comments section below. Um, it's great because we all have different approaches and different ways of doing things, and that way we all get to learn from each other. I'd love to hear what you have to say, answer any questions that I can about the way that I've done things in this video for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. If you want to see more of the videos that I make, please consider subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post anything new, and I'll see you in the next one.